Hi, we're here with Carmen Perez. Now, Carmen, your work is here. I mean, having it displayed like this, what, what are you feeling right now? I'm feeling very excited because, uh, yeah, it's the first time. So, now, I mean, this stuff goes. I, how how far back does your does your artwork go that you when you first started? Seven months ago. Really? Why 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 the interest? I don't know. I've had this urge for a while, and one day I just I I just ended up in the art supply store, and I bought a whole bunch of art supply uh, paints and, and canvases, and I started painting and. I'm pretty much addicted to it right now. Like I can't stop. Like I, all this is like in the past seven months. I've been, I've been going nonstop. So is this all coming in from like inspiration at the moment, or do you get it beforehand? Um, all the time, everything. I get ideas all the time. Like any little thing. Like uh, you know, this, uh, the other day I was painting and I had all these candles lit, and I did another painting about all just candles. You know, like it's just any anything and everything inspires me. Carmen, you're a very creative person. You do music, you're in uh, the arts of, of acting, you're now doing art itself. Well, what, is your, what does your mom say when you were young about you? Were you inclined to that? I've always, I used to be like the, the singer of the family. Like I would get in front of the family and do like, mi abuelita, you know, like sing. Yeah. Yeah. So I've, I, you know, but, um, and I used to draw a little bit, but I never really thought I was going to really do it, you know? When you were going to school, did they, did they encourage that or did they kind of, was it discouraged? Not really, not where I went, you know, and, and when I went in Puerto Rico, they didn't have any kind of art programs or anything like that. So I wish I would have had it because it might have gotten me to do it sooner, you know? <laughs> well, I mean, now is better than later, right? But, um, or never, it, yeah. Or never, yeah. So. I mean, like the piece behind us, I mean, I was attracted to this one in particular. When you, what inspired you for this piece? I, um, I love birds. <laughs> I, yeah, my imagination is a little wacky, but I, I obviously love birds. And I was watching Alice in Wonderland and I saw the pink flamingos flying. And I, I was like, oh, pink flamingos, that's good, a good art subject, you know. And I just started, I was going to paint a whole bunch of flamingos and it just ended up being two. Like it just, it just kind of ended up that way. So. So I mean, do you draw it out first, or do you just go straight to it? I just go to it. Wow. It's like black. Uh, I start with black paints, and I do the outline first, and then I do the colors, and then I do the outline again. So, is there any medium that you would want to get into after this? Like, because now you've you've got this medium. Is there any other type of art? Um, well, I definitely like this is acrylic. I've only been using acrylic, so I definitely want to start testing with oils. Okay. But, um, you know, oils are a little harder and you have to clean the brushes a certain way. And so I want to actually take a class for the first time. So actually, if I'm going to start with oil, I think I might take a class, maybe. I, don't I was going to ask you, did you take a class for this? No. You literally went in, got some stuff and, and went at it. Yeah. I applaud you for that. I draw, I sketch, but I can never watercolor or do anything. You never know. I didn't know I could do it either. <laughs> So you never know. See some of the best artists. We inter interviewed Irene Carranza, and she didn't start till. Uh, well, I won't give away her age, but way later, you know, because in school they didn't they didn't encourage that. So, what's your your, your encouragement to schools out there right now in art? I really believe that you should always follow your heart, no matter what it is, no matter what age you are. If you really want to do something, you can do it. Like I didn't grow up with a lot, and you can do it. You really can. You just have to put your heart into it, and then just. It, be passionate about it, you know? That's fantastic. Now, um, being here with the music, the art, when you do this, what, do you listen to anything? Do I listen to anything? Yeah, do you listen to any music? Oh, to kind yeah, of oh yeah, all the time. Like who? Um, well, the one major one is weird. Have you heard of B Tribe? I've heard of C Tribe? No, <laughs> it's B Tribe. It's uh, it's very acoustic, very Spanish flamenco-ish. Like I like to, I like, I love listening to uh, instruments when I'm painting, like, like the congas, um, a lot of guitar, acoustic guitar. That's that gets me going. I don't know. Maybe that's why they're so Spanish-looking or colorful. I don't know, but um, like very Latin music inspires me. But also, um, I'm trying to remember another one, um, Bjork. It's totally different kind of music, but Bjork, I love her her music, and she kind of gets. Yeah, I, I listen to it and I get creative images in my head. Yeah, she some of her stuff like gets me going too. Yeah. Well, we just we just uh, talked to James Cameron of of Avatar, and he yeah, and he had mentioned you know how a lot of this stuff was he dreamt it all. Is, does any of this come in from your dream? Well, it's 
My imagination, obviously, and my imagination is very crazy, obviously. <laughs> Say crazy. I don't. I mean, like, I love this piece, which is actually it's my favorite. Actually, is it? Really? Yeah. I don't want to sell it, but it's there in case somebody really wants to sell it. They're gonna have to pay some serious money. <laughs> I, I, and I've got to ask. I mean, what? Why is that one your favorite? It's just part of it is me. You know, like I can see myself a lot in that. You know, it's like. Well, I see you right in the middle. Of it. Yeah. It, it's just. I don't know. When I look at it, it just makes. I mean, most. I all my artwork. I look at it. It makes me happy. But that one particular makes me smile a lot. So. I gotta ask. There's there's a. Uh, I, well, what is that coming at down? I almost thought it was a snowflake of some sort, but maybe you're correcting me. It's actually whatever you want it to be, because when I paint, like all of that, some people might see something completely different. Well, then I thought it could be a falling star. Maybe it is. <laughs> That's, and that's great. I mean, because then you see the lips and the vase or the vase. What, which is it, the vase or the vase? The vase. Okay, all right. I, let, let's sound educated. <laughs> um, and then, of course, you know, the sun and everything. So, I, I mean, when, when people see your work, what are they saying, you know, when they see it for the first time? What I've been getting a lot is that it makes them smile. It makes them happy, like, uh, which is nice because when I'm painting, I feel very happy. <laughs> So I'm glad that it's coming across through my artwork. Yeah, you're throwing it out there. Yeah, and you know what? The, I, what I've realized, you know, because I'm also a sing, singer, songwriter, and actress, um, I feel like with painting is the only art form that I completely just let it all out. Like I let go and I don't hold back in any way, shape, or form. And that's what makes me happy, so happy. And I think people feel that with my art. That's a great point. I didn't think of it, but I mean, because a director kind of defines what you do. And and even in music, the producer defines how it sounds. Yeah, but exactly. And like, you know, when I'm writing music, with songwriting lately, I've been inspired to write some really good stuff that I think it's kind of matching my artwork more, Spanish. Okay. But um, I always felt like I held back a little bit with my acting and with my voice and everything. And with this, it's like, blah, no, it's, it's, it it's, it's all me. It's out. It's out there. That's fantastic. <laughs> now, speaking of which, you got some great uh, international sales of your music as well and here domestically. Can you tell us what's coming up uh, around the line? Well, I'm very excited about it, actually, because I this song will not leave my head. You know, it's kind of like my artwork. When I, I have to paint something, I have to get it out of my system. Right. This song is called Velas, and it's, it's another inspiration from being, having all these candles lit while I was painting. And this song, bits and pieces would come to me, and I had to write them down. I was recording in this little cheap recorder, and then I finally got a little rough recording together, and I brought it to my producer last week, actually, and they love it. Him and, him and my voice coach, they love it. They're, they're putting it together already, and wow. it's in Spanglish. So, Better, I can understand it. In español inglés. <laughs> wow. So and so that'll probably take another. I would say, well, if it moves along quicker, quickly, and nothing, you know, gets in the way, I would say about a month. About a month. Like wow. the end of May, maybe. Okay. Um, so hopefully it'll be a nice, fun summer song. And for those that want to see more of your art online, you have an, an online site. Can you share it with us? Yes, it's car www.carmenperezart.com. Forget the www. Yeah, <laughs> http uh, colon <laughs> forward slash forward slash <laughs> w. <laughs> you got that right. It's forward slash people, not backslash. Exactly. <laughs>